Just part of the beautiful harbor here out in Campbell River, British Columbia on Vancouver Island. We're here for the Salmon Festival and the Logger Sports Competition. We're just about halfway through the competition as we head into the women's single buck. Sarah Mooney, I live in Euclid, BC, and I'm a paramedic with the BC Ambulance Service. My name's Anita Jazowski. I'm from Nanaimo, BC, and I'm a safety advisor. Now here's a rival we've seen over the years, Jazowski versus Mooney, a couple of Islanders taking each other on in a single buck, 16 inches of white pine. These two women, we've seen lots of battles over the years. That's right, and they're sawing soft white pine, so of course you want a saw that's really aggressive in this, and of course you want to make sure you're using all of it. You, you pay about $1,500 to $2,000 for these blades, so you want to use the whole thing. And both women looking pretty smooth right now. A little bit of a hang up there by Anita. You can't afford to get too aggressive when the wood is soft. Ah, Sarah was pushing that handle the whole way to the wood. You see she's actually lacking about a foot, foot and a half from the log when she's pushing back and forth. That would actually make all the difference in this event. Another hang up, a couple of hang ups by the Jazowski. This is gonna cost her the heat for sure. Sarah Mooney is ready to break things off. And Sarah sets the time to beat in heat number one for the 26-28. You had a fairly lengthy saw there, and as you got a little more tired, you seemed to short stroke a little bit more to get the job done. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I just, I think I hung up a couple spots there, and it just got a little heavy for me, so. Is that, is that a fact that when you get more tired, you don't use as much saw? I'm, I'm not really sure. I try to, but honestly, it's, I, I don't train, so I really don't know if my technique is probably pretty cr crummy, but I try. <laughs> Well, there it is. Heat number one, 26 28 is the time to beat as we head into heat number two. Danielle Koch, currently from Grand Prairie, Alberta, taking on Marie Grinley. That's right. Marie Grinley really uh, up against uh, one of the best in the business in Koch. Last time I saw Koch, she was swimming across a pond at Marble Mountain at the Great Canadian Lumberjack Challenge. That was way back in 2002, featured here on the Lumberjacks Challenge TV series. Right now, she's looking really strong in the single buck. Actually doing a great job pulling that saw. She's not missing any time at all. No hang-ups. Really, actually, that's what it's going to come down to, Bill, is a number of hang-ups, and she is flawless so far. Well, looks like she's going to take on the 26-28 set by Sarah Mooney and Daniel Koch. A little bit of stagger there at the end. She wins a single buck by the time of 23-01. A good job, but I see you don't really extending your arms to allow yourself to push all the way down in the push stroke. Why are you not extending full arms? I normally would. That's uh, a saw I've never sawed with before, and I was finding it was stopping itself. I just couldn't use that whole saw. It was really mushy wood. And, uh, just, you know, when you're sawing with a brand new saw that you've never used before, it's a two peg. I'm used to a three peg. It's a whole different feel, and I didn't know what to expect. Well, with beautiful elk falls in the background, we wrap up the women's single buck. Danielle Koch learned her skills at Sir Sanford Fleming College in Lindsay, and she wins it. And the crown pedal point today focuses on Dave McLeod, one of the organizers of the Campbell River Show. With everything from log brewing to hot sawing for a lumberjack to be at the top of the heap at the end of the day, he has to be good at almost every single event. Dave takes a win in the stock saw with a time of 10.27 seconds, taking a big jump over the DQ by Mitch Hewitt. And with this quality field of competitors out here at the Campbell River Salmon Festival, we've got barely any room at the top with only 40 points separating the top five competitors. And while the Bears are out finding fish here, you find fish lumberjacks of the day is Dave Mose and Brandon Sergey with a big upset over Delos and Hewitt in the butcher block with a time of 1.12.66. Two thirds of the way through the competition here at the Salmon Festival in Campbell River, and we're looking for an exciting finish. Come back again next week. We're we'll featuring the obstacle pole, the choker race, and the Grand Prairie Accuracy Cut right here on Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks is sponsored by Echo, only professional grade with five-year warranty. Crown, protect, maintain, save. The new You Find Fish app. Fish with your phone. Minn Kota, anywhere, anytime. So uh, when you're up there, uh, you, everything's going through your mind in terms of safety, 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 or is that all just sort of put in the background, you're going through your lines and it's just second nature? I, I don't know if you know some of the history of how some of this has gone for me, but I've, I've broken a pole off. I'm still always checking, you always double check and triple check, and of course there's always a bit of a safety uh, factor stuck in the back, but I'm just hoping that uh, 
the crowd is enjoying it and uh, yeah, 